got another Buckeye here in the other bracket uh, to try and get to the final game here, and that's Miles Jack, the, run, the linebacker from UCLA, going up against Ezekiel Elliott, the running back there from Ohio State. Man, is Ezekiel Elliott going to pull off another upset here, Buck? What do you got? He very well may pull off another upset. When you look at Ezekiel Elliott, you're talking about a guy that is a downhill runner, a guy that has the quickness, the vision, the pitter-pat to make things happen in tight quarters, but also has the speed to get on the perimeter. And then when you factor in his receiving skills and his ability to protect and pass protection, there's a lot to like about him. And so it's going to be tough for Miles Jack to knock him off because I think many can envision this guy being a star at the next level from day one in a system where you really depend on the running back to be critically involved in the passing game. I think he can shine. A situation like Philadelphia where Doug Peterson's coming in, the things they did with Jamal Charles, he gets a guy like Ezekiel Elliott, could be dangerous. Look, look at him run routes, by the way, at that pro day. Looked like a wide receiver, the way he was stemming and getting very out of easy. his break. Caught yep. the ball very easy. The route very natural. was nice. Uh, advance. But, but he's got a tough matchup here. Miles Jack, if healthy, uh, maybe the fans would be a little bit more buzzing about Miles Jack. We saw him in his pro day the other day. I thought he moved around pretty good, Buck. Uh, still a little bit of a pause when he's changing direction. You can see he doesn't fully trust that knee just yet. Uh, you see some, some images here of his pro day. Man, the guy's in great shape. I know they said he jumped 40 inches, which – uh, some scouting buddies told me that was definitely called into question, but it was still uh, mid-30s, <laughs> pretty darn impressive coming off that knee. Um, but somebody, when you watch him on tape, Buck, he can do everything. You want somebody to play downhill that has the range to play laterally. You can line him up all over the field, and if you want, you can put him on the other side of the ball and pitch it to him. You know, the, the thing is, just looking at him go through the bag, just how easily he goes through it, how naturally he makes his movements. Look, this is coming on post-op. Surgery, not fully back to health. I'm believing in this guy. I, I believe he's a terrific player, uh, a guy that has an opportunity to be. We talk about red star players. If I had to hang a star, I'll put a star on this guy because he is going to be terrific in the right defense. As a wheel linebacker, being able to run and chase and sniff it from the second level, he should make a ton of plays. All right, we got Miles Jack here. The three seed, can he knock off Ezekiel Elliott? And as I said at the top, this is all up to you. This is not me and Bucky. Uh, deciding who moves forward here. These rankings, these seedings were kind of taken from a compilation of our two lists, uh, and they kind of formed this together and created this bracket. But you can vote. All you got to do is go uh, – you can vote on Twitter, uh, or you can go to NFL.com slash MTS bracket. Uh, you can find it there and, uh, and see the, uh, the real-time updates of who's winning these matchups. But it is up to you.